Hey guys, welcome back. We Today we're gonna be looking at the newer Pro Waterproof camera bag and we're gonna see what's in my gear bag while we're in here. So let's not waste any time with that intro. Right here guys, so today we're gonna to be looking at what's in my gear bag, what stuff I use on a daily, and I thought no better other time than I finally got my bag that I've been chasing for such a while. It's hard to get a bag uh, to suit what you need, and this is actually under 100 bucks, but got everything I've wanted. So let's check it out. Right here, so it's a new water bag. It's, uh, it is got, Laptop sleeves, all your pockets, a full outer waterproof cover that clips over the top of it. So that's fantastic, beautiful. But, now that's your front section. And that's normally, this is the big difference with this. Um, like Peter McKinnon's bag, and only a couple others that I've seen out there, this opens from the rear. Now, what you'll notice straight away about the rear, it's comes with the waistband straight away, which is perfect. I'm out riding the bike or I'm running through. Uh, you get a, you get easy 10 kilos of weight on your back for a couple of hours. It gets a bit annoying, annoying I guess, at least. So having that, that waistband there to take that weight off your shoulders is awesome. Uh, it's got the center clip, including a whistle, which I didn't realize until I got it. So that was pretty cool. Heaps of padding on it. Um, and a lock for your back compartment, which is where all your camera gear is. So even better, a little bit of security, TSA approved, perfect. No worries. On the side, you've got side pockets. You can see my Joby, which I run my GoPro for your B-roll and stuff. That sits on the side. It's got a little cinch there and that's solid. That's perfect for that little Joby. The other side, I've got a pocket in here, phone, keys, you can chuck them straight in. Again, another tripod, which will be this big bad boy on the tripod. Now this is a, my newer tripod. It is a little heavy, but I'm going to be looking at a lighter one soon. Um, but that can go into there, or you can tie it onto the front if you want to. So you've got tripod options, basically three options for tripods to touch on. Now, let's get into the fun stuff. Right, now the biggest thing we've camera bags, you're always gonna put them down when you go to do a shoot. Now, when you put your uh, shoulders back on like normal ones, like my old Progo or my uh, Crumpler one, uh, you get your back then gets covered in dirt when everything comes off. That's why I love this. Now, there's only a few that actually do it. Uh, I said the Peter McKinnon one does it, but it's like 700 bucks. This is un what cost me 100 bucks under $100 with delivery on eBay. So you can't beat that. And that just fell off. How good's that? <laughs> right, zips down, beautiful. In here, spare shirt, some clothes. And then I've got another little pouch in here. The two zips down the side. I've got my little travel towel. You can fit whatever. So that's two little pouches sliding. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. Now internals, you've got your main camera compartment just here, which is really, really nice. Uh, oh, that's where my M Canon M50 is. We'll show you that in a sec. I've got all my filters in here for my smaller stuff to go for my GoPro up to my bigger ones, which is my thousand and my variable stuff that sits in here. And also my GoPro ones as well. So I've got two different, because I have different housings for my GoPro. Um, I use a pencil case, or it's just a pencil case that I got, cheap one, to house all my little knickknacks like adapters and adjusters and bits and pieces like that, cords, microphones, uh, bag straps to hold the camera. That's really, really cool. And that keeps them all in one spot so you can grab them straight away. I've got my headlamp which I run around all the time for nighttime stuff. That's fantastic, couple of little batteries. I've got my uh, panoramic head, if I'm shooting panoramic stuff, so that's there as well. And what else is in there? Ah, my little portable light. Now I do have some more lights coming, but uh, at the moment I've only got that one and I use some torches and stuff, so it's not too bad. 
So plenty of room for that stuff in there. Also on this side, while we're on this side, I have in my little cases, my beautiful eight blade 50 mil 1.4 Pentax Super Tacomar uh, with the adapter on it, K and F adapter. It's brilliant. I love that lens. That as a vintage lens, it's my favorite lens without a doubt. I cannot do without it. I take that everywhere just in case I want to get something special in there. Uh, my other lens that I always carry around with me is my 55 to 200 Canon. It's the best one that I think in the Canon range that comes out. That's great for uh, my landscape and panoramics and stuff like that. So I really love that. So that's really, really cool. A great little lens. The 15 to 45, I just don't take it. I've got the 16 mil Sigma. I'll talk about that when we go to there. We've got backup cameras. I've got my Lumix, indestructible. Beautiful 4K, everything I need on that. That's ready to go with a mount on it. I've got my other sound, a Rode little video mic pro. That was my original one, and now I use the wireless GOES. They're fantastic. And then I've got my GoPro 7 with a little vlogging mount I use for my B-roll as such. Now also I run for straps, for camera straps, there's no better option available. I've tried the others, they just don't meet it. The Peak straps, Peak Design straps are just awesome. Brilliant, I love this, I'm so glad I got it. I did wait a while until I could get one at the right price, but they're definitely worth the extra money, uh, without a doubt. And then also for a cover for my camera, because the M50 is not really designed for water, even though it's really, really reliable, I've got a little peak design, small size there to suit my Canon M50. It does fit over the Sigma 16mm and I've had no dramas with it and yeah, very, very cool. So definitely one to check out for that. So that's what's in my bag apart from what else I'm going to show you and I'll do a little run around now. But yeah, this bag, sensational. I haven't found anything that has that set up. Uh, with these pockets and can fit on my camera gear and is light and easy to run around with the straps and everything. Also, up the top here, you've got a padded little pouch, got tissues, my blower, um, wipes, my batteries, all my batteries, spare batteries that goes in there. I put my wallet and stuff in there. Magic. So the bag, if you're looking for one under hundred bucks, Definitely worthwhile checking out the newer. And that locking, how good is that lock? Uh, when you're just like around, that is pretty cool that you can just lock that, pop straight open. Awesome. Uh, very, very, very impressed with this little unit from newer. It's brilliant, brilliant design. Um, and realistically, I don't know why there's not more that it it looks like they've really just gone through and worked out exactly what people want because from a camera side, I couldn't pick a better bag. Now we're gonna go over here and check out how I run the studio and what's in the studio. Okay guys, now we're gonna go check out the rest of the studio and how we have it all set up here. I'll just go over to this one. So recording now. So there's me looking at you, looking at me, looking at you. I'll just cut that in, that'll look pretty funky. Rightio, so the desk, which is my toolbox, you've seen all that. Then you come around to the rest of my toolbox, the old PK Ripper. Obviously, I got my bag and just sort of have everything sort up here. Now, in that, my old bags, they're all there. I just got a bit of rubber mat down here just to try and stop some of that sound and that uh, echoing, I don't know if it works. And that's why I've got this on here as well, just to try and stop that sound as well. We'll go around to the camera and the light. I'm just gonna turn this light off for a second, just so you can see what I've got. I was gonna blow right out. So you've seen the car, there's a little, just a little cheapo stand and I've got a little digital light bulb in there because this, this is the one I brought home from work. So that's my little light set up, so that's good. That was part of a kit that came with the green screen and everything. That's all still at work, so I can't do much with that.
Uh, there's the newer tripod, the new one. That's the heavy duty version with the tilt access and the frame, we know about that one. And then the ducks guts of the, the organization, the M50 with the Peak Design loops on there for the thing. I've got the Rode uh, Wireless Go mic setup, which is fantastic, I love them. And also I've got the 16 mil Sigma DCN, DCDN lens, which just came out for the M range in September last year and was the best purchase I've made so far. Awesome, apart from the new newer bag. So two of them have come up really well. So that's awesome. Uh, on there, I've now got a Siri, I don't know if you can see that. Siri uh, variable ND filter, ND2 to 400, that's new. And I just use adapter inks or I go all my uh, filters now are 82 mil. And then I'll just step them down to whatever size lens I got. That's the cheapest option and I'm all about cutting costs. On the frame, this outer frame here where I can put lights and screw in anywhere, I can put any adjustments on down the road and I actually really enjoy it. It's really comfortable for the handle out here because it's only a small camera. This makes it feel a lot bigger and it's a lot better to grip. Is a UU, UU rig uh, frame for the M50. Um, yeah, love it. Goes inside, I can do that and I can also do vertical. Uh, yeah, super, super cruisy and love it. So that's the camera rig, and then the only other, the couple other things we want to talk about um, is my light. I, this is the one I got, and that's we talked about that earlier in other things. It's the VB Best Light, and yeah, it's crap. Uh, it'll work if it's plugged in, and I hold the switch down for about five minutes. It'll reset itself, sort of, and then as soon as you unplug it. It drops out, so you're stuffed. Yeah, I got a refund off them, so that was good. I do do appreciate that, but yeah, pretty much useless. Uh, you do need a good RGB light for the video side. It does help, and I did uh, use a little bit of it uh, when I did my macro stuff the other day, so that was pretty cool. Now, the only other thing I do have up here that I want to show is my little Peak design bag. Okay, now back to this. I'm just going to put this bag down. Um, little waterproof bag. It's very similar to a Peak design bag. Um, 60 bucks on eBay. Bargain. If I'm just doing one lens, I'm just going out for a quick shoot with a camera or a quick walk. Uh, this thing is perfection. Uh, just super, super easy. Carries a ton of stuff. Can sit here. I can go in, get out, take your shots best way to do it and it's actually got a, a ton of room in it if you look at it you can fit most things you need and i've been using this a fair bit camera in there lens either side batteries blowers memory cards cleaners cloths all that stuff in there uh, utility tools phone and keys and stuff out here and that expands out so there's a ton of room in there now you can get the Peak Designs, the same bag, I think this is like a, a 15 litre, same bag's like 300 bucks, which is just ridiculous. Uh, for the size of it, $60 is what I think it's worth. Yeah, it doesn't have the Peak Design clips or anything on it. Uh, this is okay and it's working, it's got a little fold over it. It's, as I said, it's pretty much a copy of a Peak Design, I think. Uh, but I haven't had a drama with it. It's been working really well. The zips are all good. It's a waterproof zip, seals. Um, I've taken it out in a light rain and it's been no dramas. But just something you can carry and just do a quick, quick run around with is really handy. So I'm happy with that. That's what's in my bag for 2020. That's the unboxing of this bad boy. And I just took this out and used this the other day and I absolutely loved it. It made a world of difference. Um, it's not as obviously as light as the little one, but I had, what to have, three lenses, all my other gear, my GoPros, the Joby on there, and I just carried my other, my big tripod around until I get a little travel one and it was fantastic. Having the waist bands on it was 
absolute game changer, totally different. And I could easily just chuck it down on this side where I know there's nothing that can get damaged. Chuck it down, go in and get my bag. It sits comfortably and I can go in, get what I need, change lens, do whatever I need to do. Perfection. So I was super stoked with this. Uh, I can't rec definitely recommend it. I'm, I guess six months time, we'll probably have a go back at it and talk about it. The only concern of these zips are a little bit lightweight. They're not YKKs or anything like that, but we'll see how they go. There is a one year guarantee with newer, so I'm sure they'll look after us if something goes wrong. But other than that, yeah, fantastic. Love it to bits and yeah, can't go wrong. That's what's in my gear bag. I hope that helps you out with some ideas and the way to set either your bag up or if you're looking for a cheap option, you don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a bag and you just want to try something out. You may want to get a Peter McKinnon bag or, or something like that, a real a top quality one. But from my point of view, uh, you can try out something like this, which is very similar in the setup. If it works and that's the style, that you need to work in, um, then that's great because what a, you can then use this and go, yep, yeah, that all works, that's the way I like it. I can go get a good quality one that's gonna last me 10, 20 years. 100 bucks, less than, less than, I think it was $95 or $94, including freight, for a gear bag that fits everything I need for my shoots. That is magic. And that's it. Uh, I think I've said that's it three times. That will be it. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.